Hello ladies and gents, Bro here, and welcome to No No Films. Today we're going to be continuing our iMovie app for the iPhone tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a simple picture-in-picture -picture or an overlay or a side-by-side -side, uh, video. So let's go ahead and launch iMovie. We're in our projects tab here. We uh, have a My Movie 1 uh, project that we created in our previous tutorials. Now I'm going to go ahead and tap that circle edit button and it's going to bring us straight into our project here. Um, just after our transition, for example, I have a uh, picture in picture already of some puppies in the background here. And uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and click it and hit delete just to remove it and show you guys how I did this. So you can uh, go ahead and position your little the timeline, the line here and position it right where you want the uh, picture in picture to start. But uh, I can also show you guys how you can move the picture in picture. So I'm going to put mine right at the beginning of this first uh, video and I'm going to hit that little plus button there. Now we're going to go to, from this case, I, you can also do a picture in picture of a photo, but I'm going to do a video and we're going to go to that same puppy video. I'm going to go ahead and select it and in this case, instead of pressing that plus button, I'm going to hit that little three bars and uh, I'm going to do that picture in picture icon right there. It's going to drag it and drop it straight into my footage and you'll notice that when I drag and drop, I mean when I drag on my timeline, my finger, um, you'll notice that the picture in picture is right there. It's already up there within my footage. Now if I tap it, I'll be able to now uh, get some editing options at the bottom along with at the top. Um, just to start off, I'm actually going to go ahead and show you guys at the top right. Um, if you click that little arrow, the four arrows going in several different locations, um, you'll be able to now move this picture in picture wherever you please. Um, and also now if you hit that, plus, hit that plus button just below the arrows, you'll be able to pinch to zoom, double tap to reset. Keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and zoom in on those puppies right there and uh, just leave it just right about there. I'm going to go back to the arrows and move this around the bottom right here. And uh, now we have a picture in picture here, just like that, you guys. So we have a picture in picture in our project. Uh, you can also go ahead, if you click right in the center of the picture in picture, or hold, uh, push, push, press your finger on it and hold, you'll be able to now pick it up and move it where you please if you wanted to move it or reposition it as well. I'm going to go ahead and drop it right back down where it was and uh, keep in mind that if you made a mistake or you didn't mean to move it or you, you did some weird thing that you don't even know what you did, um, the, this little the far right hand side here, that little back arrow will undo your most recent change and uh, keep in mind, be sure to take advantage of that. I personally do, I tend to press things I don't want oftentimes uh, when I use this. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and click on our picture in picture again. I'm going to go ahead and grab the end of it, the, just the end right here, and I'm going to drag it to expand it because I know the footage is longer, so I'm going to expand it as much as I can to make it uh, the, its full length here. And uh, I'm also going to show you guys here at the very bottom, if you look at the very bottom, where you see these two little uh, rectangle boxes right next to each other. Um, if you click this, you'll now have options as in if you can make this in a complete overlay, just like that, or you can make it uh, that picture in picture, which we just had, or you could do this side by side, just like this. If you want it on a different side, you can click the next one here, then you could do the top, top and bottom, and uh, top and bottom again, just like that. Uh, keep in mind those options are available there, but we're going to go back to our picture in picture, and uh, there we have it. Now we have a picture in picture of some puppies within a, our own footage here, and you can do this as many times as you want within um, iMovie. I'm actually going to go ahead and see if I can add another picture in picture on top of these puppies here. So I'll go ahead, plus, hit that plus button, click these puppies, press, a uh, picture in picture, an overlay already exists at the play ahead. Okay, so it looks like it will not let us add a second picture in picture at that same location, but I'm assuming you'll still be able to add additional um, picture in pictures, maybe if, if they're not at the play at the play ahead. Well, the play ahead would be right where your um, the line right there sh starts. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it to <clears throat> a different location and show you guys here that I can add another picture in picture of this well the same puppies in a different location and uh, there you have it yes we can which is uh which is nice but uh, it looks like we cannot do more than one multiple multiple picture in pictures um and uh, the way to resolve that would be probably to export your project and then import it back into iMovie and then add another uh, picture in picture where uh, if you wanted to add one there in a particular place uh, just like we did it in the iMovie application on the MacBook and uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to leave any questions 
or concerns uh, thank you guys again and later so Hello ladies and gents and thank you for joining me here after the credits. I do have a unique opportunity here. If you get this app uh, called App Nana, now this is what the app looks like, but I'm gonna go to my invite. If you use my referral code right there at the top, M2326194, you'll get an instant 2,500 Nanas that trade to your account. There are also a variety of rewards you can get. Uh, now you may also find this application in the app store. If you go to search bar, you can search App Nana, app nana just like that and you'll see it's right there it's app joy you can also search it by app joy and uh, you can go ahead and download that right now but go ahead and use that invitation code thank you and later